this video, I'll demonstrate how to connect and link our Enseon controlled water shutoff valve. These valves are recommended for all new construction and are a must have in older homes, vacation homes, or any structure that goes unoccupied for an extended period. When installed where the water service enters the building, these motorized shutoff valves can save thousands in potential damage from frozen or leaking pipes or appliances like water heaters, washing machines, refrigerators, or dishwashers. We sell only top quality full port stainless steel ball valves with solid brass bodies. They're also available in stainless steel valve bodies and in standard sizes from one half inch to one and a half inch national pipe thread. Check out our website or contact us for pricing and availability. Unlike most others, our valves provide contact closure feedback and automatic shutoff in both the fully open and fully closed positions. The valves can be purchased separately or as part of an Inseon package, which you see here, that includes an Inseon IO Link low voltage interface module and a heavy duty 12 volt power supply to operate the valve. Although wiring connections can be made after the valve is installed, I prefer to do it before it's installed so I can make the connections on a flat, well-lighted surface. Although it's a little difficult to see in the video, for Inseon operations, connect the red wire of the valve to the normally open terminal on the I.O. link and connect the green wire from the valve to the normally closed terminal. For our purposes, we want to provide status feedback when the valve has reached the fully closed position. That feedback is provided by a contact closure between the yellow and white wires. So we connect the white wire to the sense terminal and the yellow wire to the ground terminal. We won't be using the fully open feedback that's available on the blue and gray wires, so I usually twist them together and connect them to the 5 volt terminal to keep them out of the way and to add a little extra strain relief for the cable. Connect the positive wire from the power supply to the common terminal on the I.O. link and twist the negative power supply wire to the black wire of the valve and secure with a wire nut. Finally, verify all screw terminals are snug, but don't over tighten. The power supply can now be plugged directly into the pass-through outlet on the front of the I.O. link, and the whole assembly can be plugged into any non-switched electrical outlet. To control your valve, we recommend linking it to an Insteon keypad link for several reasons. First, the keypad link can replace any existing wall switch where a white or common wire is present without further modification to the switch box or wiring. Second, since the keypad link is a dual mode device, it can also act as a receiver for radio frequency communications from Insteon wireless water leak detectors should you choose to use them. And finally, the keypad link allows control and status feedback to be assigned to individual buttons as I'll show you now. To link the keypad link to the I.O. link, first tap the set button on the side of the I.O. link to place the valve in the open position. Then select an unused scene button on the keypad link and press to light the button. Next, press and hold the set button on the keypad link for three to four seconds until the keypad link beeps and the set button flashes green. Finally, press the set button on the I.O. link for three to four seconds until it beeps and the keypad link now controls the valve. To test, 
cycle the valve open and closed by toggling the keypad length button. Press the button once to open and press again to close. Notice the green status light on the I.O. link lights whenever the valve is in the fully closed position. Now we'll link the valve status to a second keypad link button so that the light will light whenever the valve is in the fully closed position. First, tap the set button on the side of the I.O. link until the valve opens fully and the green LED is not illuminated. Next, press and hold the set button on the side of the I.O. link for three four seconds until it beeps. Then, select a second button on the, IO, on the keypad link and press to turn it on and off. We're going to turn it on and then Press and hold the set button on the keypad link for three to four seconds until it beeps. Cycle the valve open and closed. The status button will now turn off whenever the valve reaches a fully closed position. and goes on whenever the valve moves off the fully closed position. Finally, we'll change the mode of the status button to off only, which will keep it from lighting if it's accidentally pressed. Select the status button on the keypad link and press to turn it on. Press again to turn it off. Press and hold the set button on the keypad link for three to four seconds until it beeps and the set button flashes green. Press and hold the set button a second time for three to four seconds until it beeps and the set button flashes red. Press and hold the set button a third time for three to four seconds until it beeps again and the set button stops flashing. You can test this by pressing the status button when the valve is closed. The button should flash twice and go back out rather than staying on. You now have manual keypad link control of your and status of your Insteon enabled water shutoff valve. If you'd like to add automatic water shutoff valve operation whenever a leak is detected, simply link as many Insteon water leak detectors to the I.O. link as you would like. If any detector senses water, it will immediately close the shutoff valve and the keypad link status button will extinguish to indicate the valve is closed. To do this, First place the valve in the fully closed position. Next, press and hold the set button on the top of the Insteon water leak detector for three to four seconds until the green LED flashes. Next, press and hold the set button on the side of the I.O. link for three to four seconds until it beeps. And now, the Insteon water leak detector is leaked to the I.O. link. To test, you can use a damp paper towel or sponge and with the valve in the fully open position, place the leak detector on the damp surface and it will immediately close the valve and the status light will extinguish, indicating the valve has been closed. You can also control the valve with uh, and all your other Insteon devices from your mobile device 
when used with a Home Runner RBI or other compatible Insteon automation controller. As always, contact us if you have any questions about this or other Insteon automation projects. Visit www.innovativehomesys for valves, IO link, keypad, and all your other Insteon needs.